All right, so I'm um, working on this uh, song by Sturgill, what's his face? Uh, Mark Capo, second fret, and this is all going to be C chord stuff. Um, uh, just first and foremost, maybe try to get yourself going. I play some other chord, I play C, without going, like, we probably, we may have, you may already know a song where you transition to C more um, decisively. But you're just not doing that now because your normal subconscious processes. I just like, carefully set it up. Mm -hmm. So there it is. So this is all coming down to is one head space is for memorization, and that's when you actually painstakingly go through the details, and then you give over to whatever. Now I'm just trying it, having gone through each a little bit. Um, cool. So here's how the whole thing starts. Sounds first and foremost. Just for shits and giggles. And then we'll be back to the beginning. Correct. So before we do the actual version, we're going to just sit on a C chord and go the fifth string, fourth, you know, and that was just the bass string, and a C chord, and then the fourth string. So now just please pause your video and painstakingly go through that without any pressure to get from here to here in any amount of time. Don't let yourself go, I've done it twice, move on. Just go through it. Like, you know, learn to dance steps so that you can then attempt to dance. Consciously focused on what you're doing, pausing in between attempts. This is a pretty extreme example because what we're doing is pretty dual. But like we were seeing during the lesson, it was about four or five. My optic I'm really focused. This is annoying attempts after the fight flight response when you were actually like, Yeah, you know, I can do that consciously or otherwise. Awesome. So we're going. And the actual rhythm is one, two and three, four and or down, down up, down, down up. Or bass down up, bass down up. So yeah, let's set a new practice tempo of like and you're gonna get good at that before you move on. Using our normal strategy, which is I get it once well, and then before you try to loop it, do it twice total. So that's like, you know, in a lot of songs, like, like based on other stuff, everything is so And you can use a lot of other chords, like, it just kind of gets around the, the bass notes. You're playing a lot of uh, Johnny Cash songs. Cool, so I'll just get really good at the, at the right hand part. Um, now we're going to move on to the left hand bit, which let's really, really, really assume this is going to be easy. Um, so yeah, we know the entire thing we're doing here. These two fingers are just chilling out. Our middle finger is doing all the moving uh, until the very last second of the entire thing. So the section that um, I'm referring to when I go brackets, quotation mark, is the first thing in the actual song where we wrote number two on the page, where we're going, followed by. Now that's the same exact thing you were doing right hand-wise when you were just going. But we're doing a hammer on, and it's up to you how the rhythm of the hammer on sounds. So we're going, let's just work on going without worrying about rhythm. You'll you know, wrestle with getting your hand in a position where that will actually work. And we're going, just trying to go one and two and, or three and four and, rather. And it can be like when you're first doing it, whatever, you're just learning the dance steps right now. What to watch yourself for is doing the hammer on hella fast because it's decisive, but it's up to you. It might go, it might go, or whatever. Uh, in this case, it's well, probably the less you think about that, the better it'll go. It's just so we're not going. We're just going. Stop. Please get good at that. And now put them together without any pressure. 
In fact, let's decide we're going to pause in between. And you're already good at the right hand part by now in your practice. So now we're going to go. Get your shit together. Do that a few times until it actually becomes easy and you feel like you can go for it. Then we switch to the complete other headspace of just going for it. You're getting pretty good at it just in the lesson from doing it like five times or something. So yeah, there we are. Still the same right hand part. So one good one, two good ones, I can loop it. Going. Might sound a little bit repetitive. Like uh, the next section, it's, that's what happens. Uh, that seems to be his default. I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to do other shit. Cool. So we get all kinds of good at that. Um, great, so the next thing I want to work on is this, which is uh, the, maybe the hardest thing in what we're doing. That's it. It's not really that difficult if you got cut up to ear. So in our last one, we were going, I'm um, on the fourth string. We were just going hammer on. Now we're going to be on the third string. Just going hammer on, pull off, and that's just picking the string one time. And if you move decisively, um, it should happen. The only reason this wouldn't ring out is some other part of your hand touching the string. Um, so yeah, that's, you know, I'm here, then I'm here, then I'm there. And you don't need to pluck the string or anything as long as it, you move. Like, so there we go. So you're just going to be going. Right hand part is I'm picking the third string. Just work on doing that until it actually becomes easy. And then work on just going from that back to C without worrying about what we're going to play. Just, I did this. But I went back to see. Cool. And in the song, it actually goes then just exactly as advertised. It's the same thing we've been doing the whole way. Um, this time, just instead of going, we're hitting third string. So right hand wise, it's third string down up. So that was pick strong, strong, and that's a. Uh, Three and a four and... I don't know but you know, you've heard it enough times. Cool. So just get good at now at... Or just... Now let's go back and just put the first one in there, the... The one we just been working on. Then get good at doing that with pauses in between. This should feel like two things I'm already good at, or competent at rather, and have put time in on. So again, we're gonna allow for our pause in between the first few attempts. I'm like, okay, now I'm gonna do the other thing. Which is just a stop gap until you, then you know, when you feel like you can do that, go for the whole thing. So there we are, um, maybe like, So the second time through, it's all the same, and then we just go boom, boom on that string. So that was parentheses part, the same thing that started the song, and then just bass, strum, and notes. I think if you just do that decisively without thinking about it too much, it'll go well. What we were experiencing during the lesson was. Uh, in the name of trying to be careful, uh, getting your, like, getting, trying to get your left hand ready to play the next note, when you just have to think of it as, like, two total things you're doing, exactly, you know, just this one, then that one, you can't go, let me get my finger out of the way, but the good news is we're totally just going, and this is in, note for note, the second and third notes, and that's the second thing that you already know how to do, so, it's the same as this. So this is. And then it sounds kind of interrupted there, because what happens next is it goes back to the very top. So there is an, another node. It doesn't go. It's just, you know, pick, strum, no pause at all. It's just pick, strumming, no, no. 
really, or there's no uh, like any feeling of need to get analytical about this. Um, it's you know, be kind of cast aside. It, it, we're totally just going and then going back to the other thing we've been doing the entire time. Cool. So second variation, not including the, which is easier, and you're already going to be good at when you get to this point. We're going to be going. Bringing it up to actual tempo as a whole other step. Definitely. 